Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to use the context menu with a list view in an Android application. You can use the context menu with any view components in an Android application, but generally the context menus are always using with list of items like a list view or a grid view. So here I am going to show you how to use the context menu to change the properties of an item in a list view. So open Eclipse and start a new Android project. So here I already created a project. So the first thing you need to do is to add a list view into the activity main.xml file. So go to the layout file. So here I am going to add a list view. Provide an ID for this list view and do it. Android ID plus ID. I name it as list view. Okay, now set the layout for this list view. Android layout width is much parent. Make it as much parent. Now set the height. Android layout height. Um, make it as wrap content. Okay, that's enough. Now go to the graphical layout of this. So now here we got a list view on the layout file. Okay, uh, now go to the main activity.java file. Here it is action bar activity. We don't need that one. I just changed it into activity. So you need to import some package for activity. Okay, here there are two overrides method for the context menu. We not we don't need that one. I just remove that one. Okay. So now here you need to create an object of list to view. So I add an object of list to view here. List to view. List to view. Okay. Now I am going to initialize that object. So list to view equal to find view by id r dot id dot list view that is the id of the list view provided on the activity main.xml file so you need to cast it into list view okay so now you need to add some items into the list view and you need an array adapter to create the views on the list view so for that i create a list object it is working with the strings so the type is string and I name it as list okay you can initialize that object here it is equal to new array list okay and for working with uh, the list view you need an <coughs> adapter so I need an array adapter here array adapter it is working with the string array adapter I name it as adapter okay so now you need to add some strings into this list so list dot uh, you have to add some items so here I am going to add some hardware components into this list first uh, monitor monitor second one is list dot add uh, keyboard okay and again add some item using add method keyboard and what else mouse uh, add some more items add uh, motherboard okay one more item add list dot add uh, hard disk okay so now we add some items into the list now we can initialize the array adapter object so adapter adapter equal to new array adapter first you have to provide the context I give it as this now you need to provide the resource so it is android dot 
are dot layout dot uh, symbol list item one and now you need to provide the resource here the resource is that list so you have to provide that variable name here uh, the variable name is list okay and okay now we successfully initialize that adapter object now you need to add this adapter into the list to view so uh, list to view dot set adapter and pass that adapter object okay now we successfully add a list to view into the activity main.xml and we set the adapter for that we can check it out so run us android application open your emulator okay open emulator okay now the project is launched we got the list to view on the activity main.xml file okay now we are going to add a context menu for this list view and uh, here I am going to add an option to delete an item from this list view using the context menu so for that you need to create a layout file on the menu folder so here already an XML file is available I'm, I'm going to create a new XML file new Android XML file I name it as main uh, main context main context menu okay here we got the menu uh, here we got the root element menu and click finish now we got that XML file okay now you need to add an item into this menu so I add an item here first you have to provide an ID for this item Android ID uh, plus ID I name it as delete delete ID now you need to provide a title for this item using title tag Android title delete uh, item delete item okay okay now go to main activity dot Java file now you need to register the list view with the context menu so it is very simple you just pass that list view object into into this method called uh, register context yeah this method register for context menu and you need to pass that object of list view sorry the view of that list view here it is list view okay now you need to inflate that menu XML here so you need to override some method method called on create context menu yeah this one on create context menu okay so for inflating this menu you need an object of menu inflator menu inflator I name it as menu in, uh, inflator equal to get menu inflator okay now you can inflate the context menu XML file using this menu inflator object so menu inflator inflator dot inflate r dot first you have to provide the resource here it is r dot menu dot uh, context main context menu that is the that is our XML file name and you need to pass an object of menu context menu here so uh, we got it as an argument here and pass the same argument here and put the semicolon okay now you successfully register the list view with the context menu and now the context menu is inflated whenever user perform a long click on an item on the list view we can check it out so I run the project again so I right click it and run us Android application open emulator okay now the list view is available on the main activity dot main activity XML file I make a long click on an item so now the context menu is visible the context menu contain only one item called delete item so now whenever user choose this option we have to remove that particular item from this list view so for that you need to override another method here 
that is called the uh, on context item selected yeah on context item selected that is that method okay so now here we got an argument of menu item so before going to do anything you need to create an object of adapter context menu info adapter context menu info I name it as info equal to use this argument item item dot get menu info use this method get menu info uh, this is object so you need to cast it into corresponding class here the class name is adapter context menu info okay now uh, you have to get the ID of the context menu item so I use a switch case statement okay now you have to get the ID of the item on the context menu so item dot item dot get yeah this is get item ID this will return the ID of the item on which the user perform a long click now you have to check that using the case statement case r dot id dot yeah this one delete id the id of the item is delete id so you can use this use that one here delete id so if it is delete option you have to remove that particular item from the list view that means you have to remove that particular item from the list here here the list object is list you have to remove that particular item from this list and for that you can use this adapter context menu info object so so you have to remove that item so list don't remove now you have to you need to get the position you can get the position of that particular item from the info from this object so info dot position okay now you successfully remove that particular item from the list now you have to inform the adapter uh, that you are recently remove a particular item from the list so you need to uh, refresh that particular adapter so you have to refresh that adapter adapter dot there is a method called uh, notify data set change you can call that method okay now you successfully perform some uh, menu action so you can return true here return true okay now in the default option uh, you can call this method you can return this in the default option that means if the user uh, does not does not many does not use any menu option this will invoke return super context item selected okay now we can check the project so run as android application run as android application now open emulator okay now the list view is present now I perform a long click on this item now this option is available the context menu will appear I click it now you can see that now that particular item is deleted from the list view now I make a long click on the mouse item and delete it now that item is removed from this list view yeah it's working fine guys this is how we working with context menu with the list view I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part.